Hey guys, it's Mr. Answorth again. We're going to get into part two of our budget here, and we're going to be talking about periodic investments. Going all the way back to chapter two, I think section 2.8. And this should definitely be on your concept sheet because we haven't done this in a long time in the beginning of the second semester. So here we go. This will teach you the power of investing periodically, which means like on a continuous basis, whether it's every week, every two weeks, every month, every quarter for a long period of time. So typically if you get out of college, you're getting out of college around 22 and you, you typically you retire at 62. And so typically you work for 40 years. That's a typical, at least very traditional work span. Okay. A career of 40 years. And so we are going to do four periodic investments over 40 years. The first one weekly, the second one biweekly, meaning every two weeks, and then the, the third one monthly. And then the fourth one quarterly, meaning every three months. Because there's four quarters in a year, and there's three months per quarter. Okay, and we're going to deposit uh, 500 bucks just to play with it. And you can change this to 100 or 50, whatever you want, because it's a spreadsheet, right? Okay, so go ahead and enter in 500 to play with here. The time in years is going to be 40, because that's what the directions say. All right, number of compounding periods. Well, this is periodic investment. This is weekly compounding, right? If we do it weekly, we're going to... We do it 52 times a year, right? So N is 52 because there's 52 weeks per year. And, of course, we have to pick an interest rate. And we're going to do 6% for all of these just to compare like because you have to have some basis of comparison. So it's going to be 40 years for all four investments. The APR is going to be 6% uh, for all these investments. So type in 6. And then the the uh the deposit is going to be 500 in all of these investments okay so let's see what happens so here we go the formula is up here i gave it to you there it's the same formulas that you used in section 28 or in chapter 2 section 8 of your workbook okay so if you want to look at all <laughs> of all work we did here we go all right so time in the famous equal sign here because it's a formula start off with the 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 periodic deposit of 500 times okay so we have to use asterisk here don't forget that we talked about that a lot okay and then we're gonna have to double up on the parentheses go two left parentheses here one plus the r divided by n so that's the interest rate so click on the interest rate divided by n which is the number of times compounding which is 52 so don't type in 52 you click on 52 right parentheses and now we're going to raise it to the power so go shift six and use parentheses again because you have to raise it to the nt power. So I'm going to take n, which is 52, times, so shift 8, uh, the time in years, which don't type in 40, type in b26. End it with parentheses here. We're going to subtract 1, close off the parentheses here in the formula, and now hit the slash because we got to divide it by r divided by n. So parentheses, take the interest rate, divide it by n so click on n which is 52 all right parentheses if you like and hit enter and there you go you'll have over four million three hundred thousand in the bank so at the top is my formula up here so take a look up top that's the exact same formula used back in chapter two and by the way that should be on your concept sheet for the final guys there's a lot of review in here all the concepts in these spreadsheets should be on concept sheets if you don't have them memorized okay next one here what we want to do is we're going to do the same deposit of 500 so type that in all right time in years is still going to be 40. number of comparing compounding periods well let me see it's every two weeks 52 divided by 2 is 26 so 26 compounding periods apr six percent like i said keep that the same for everything and then we type the same same formula in. so again you start off with your periodic uh, deposit you go shift eight, so which is times, double up on the left parentheses here. So one plus, okay, R divided by N. So take your interest rate, divided by N, which is in this case 26. All right, parentheses, take it to a power, so shift six. Parentheses, and then it's to the NT power. So you take N, which is 26. Don't type in 26. Type in E27 or click on 26, all right? Go times or asterisk, that's a shift eight, all right, times the number of years. Close it off, subtract one, close off the parentheses, 
and then you have to divide it by r divided by n. That has to be in parentheses too. So go back to your APR and divide it by the n value, which is 26, because we're doing this biweekly. All right, and then parentheses and then enter. And there you go. So if you do it every two weeks, you'll have less than half the amount invested. Okay, less than half. And so there you go. And, and then right here, you guys should be able to do the last two on your own, right? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do one more. Because this is what really what most people do is the monthly periodic. So we'll do it one more time and then you can do the last one on your own. So monthly here deposit is 500. So out of your bank account comes 500 to your investment. We're gonna do that every year for 40 years. So type in 40 years. There's 12 months in a year. APR 6%. All right, and then here we go. Let's type in the formula again. So one more time, take your periodic investment, go shift eight or times, double up on the left parentheses right here, times, okay, one plus. So one plus the interest rate, which is 6%, divided by N, which is 12, but don't type in 12, type, you know, click on 12, right? Close off the parentheses, go shift six or go to the exponent here. Put the exponent in parentheses. It's always to the nt power, so go n times t. And notice that I'm clicking on the cells and I'm not typing in n times t here. So make sure you understand that. Subtract one, close off the parentheses. All right. And then you got to divide it by the quantity of r divided by n. So you just put this in parentheses. So you take your interest rate, divide it by n, which is 12, but don't type in 12. All right, and then parentheses, and there you go. So you have a little under a million. All right, so you go ahead and you apply it to the last one here. Remember, quarterly means every you do it four times a year, so n is four. All right, everything else stays the same. All right, and then uh, you go ahead and submit it after this. And remember, when you submit, you click on share. It has to be set to TVSD and editor mode, so I can check your spreadsheet, copy the link, paste it in Canvas, and you're good to go. All right, and there's part two, guys. It was that. It was that quick, but notice the power investment. You know, you can have a lot of money if you uh, if you actually do this every every week or every month for the rest of your working life, okay, up until you retire, and then you'll have money in the bank so you can retire in luxury or at least well, okay. <laughs> so it all depends on how much you invest. All right, this is Mr. Rangeworth. Hopefully that helped you out. This is the budget project. Take care. Bye bye.